Four and a half billion years ago, the Earth was formed from the cosmic dust of the Big Bang. Yet despite our advancements in science and technology, the mysteries of our planet still elude us. But what if the key to unlocking these secrets lies in a radical theory, suggesting the universe is nothing but an atom? Join us as we delve into the mind-boggling concept of the universe as an atom and discover what it could mean for our understanding of the world around us. It all started with a bang. A big one, in fact. About 14 billion years ago, the universe was just a singular point of infinite density and temperature. It suddenly exploded in a tremendous burst of energy and matter, resulting in the creation of the universe as we know it today. This is the well-known Big Bang Theory, and apart from the ultimate creator, it describes the origin of everything that exists today, including our own planet, Earth. Earth was formed from the cosmic dust of the Big Bang. The process took millions of years and was characterized by extreme heat, pressure, and gravitational forces. Atoms were the building blocks of this process. From the formation of the first elements to the creation of molecules, atoms played a crucial role in the development of the planet. Nietzsche once said, he who would learn to fly one day must first learn to stand and walk and run and climb and dance one cannot fly into flying. This statement couldn't be more true when it comes to our understanding of the universe, an ongoing journey of discovery that has evolved over thousands of years. One of the theories that has contributed to this journey is the theory that the whole universe is a single atom. The idea suggests that the universe, much like an atom, is made up of a nucleus and electrons orbiting around it. Well, yes, you're right. This theory does seem a bit far-fetched and unbelievable, but there is growing evidence to support it. Atoms as we know are the fundamental building blocks of matter. Everything in the universe, aside from energy, is made of matter, and atoms make up all matter. The term atom comes from the Greek word for indivisible, and scientists once thought that atoms were the smallest thing in the universe and could not be divided. However, we now know that atoms are made up of three subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. These particles are even further made up of even smaller particles called quarks. Atoms were created approximately 13.7 billion years ago following the Big Bang. As the hot and dense new universe cooled, conditions became favorable for the formation of quarks and electrons, which combined to form protons and neutrons, which then combined to form nuclei. This all happened within the first few minutes of the universe's existence. It took 300 to 80,000 years for the universe to cool enough for the electrons to slow down, enough for the nuclei to capture them, thus forming the first atoms. The first atoms were primarily hydrogen and helium, which are still the most abundant elements in the universe. Scientists have noticed a unique pattern or similarity between the arrangements of atoms and the universe. The solar system, for instance, consists of a large star, the sun, and smaller planets that revolve around it. This arrangement is replicated many times over, with exoplanets orbiting distant stars outside of our solar system. The same can be said for the arrangement of an atom, where the nucleus is significantly larger than the electrons, and the electrons orbit around the nucleus. This leads to the theory that the universe might be an atom. If we consider the element oxygen, which has a nucleus and eight electrons in its orbit, this is similar to our solar system, which consists of our sun and eight planets orbiting around it. This analogy raises the possibility that the third electron from the oxygen nucleus is similar to our Earth, but on a much smaller and different scale. The theory of the universe being an atom is not a new one. Democritus, a Greek scientist and philosopher, developed the theory of an atom as early as 440 BC. His theory was likely based on the work of previous philosophers and included the ideas that atoms exist independently of one another. There are an infinite number of atoms. Atoms can move, atoms can combine to form matter, but do not merge to form a new atom, and atoms cannot be divided. Theories in science are only as good as the evidence supporting them. The evidence for this theory is both fascinating and compelling. This theory provides a way to explain the apparent uniformity and stability of the universe. According to the theory, the universe as a whole would be held together by the same forces that keep atoms together. 
such as the electromagnetic force. This would help to explain why the universe appears to be so well-ordered and stable, with everything in its place and everything moving in a predictable manner. This idea is also in line with modern scientific understandings of the structure of matter, which suggests that everything is made up of atoms and subatomic particles. Some scientists believe this theory while others are skeptical. So what are the flaws in this theory? Because as we all know, no theory is perfect. One of the main criticisms is that there's not enough evidence to back it up. Despite all of the research and experimentation conducted by the researchers, there's still insufficient concrete evidence to prove this theory. The idea runs counter to many of our current scientific understandings of the universe. For example, modern cosmology suggests that the universe is much larger and more complex than a single atom with billions of galaxies and billions of stars. The idea of the universe as an atom also conflicts with our understanding of nature of time and space, which suggests that the universe is not a single static entity, but instead it is constantly evolving and changing. One of the most difficult challenges for supporters of this idea is persuading the scientific community to accept it. It's a difficult task, especially given the lack of concrete evidence and widespread skepticism among scientists. Researchers might be rightly skeptical about it as there are other theories that better explain the phenomena. One such theory is the plate tectonic theory, which is widely accepted by the scientific community. This theory explains the movement of the Earth's lithospheric plates and their interactions as plate boundaries. It also accounts for the correlation between earthquakes and volcanic activity and the locations of plate boundaries. The Earth's surface is divided into several large plates that float on fluid and the hot mantle below. These plates move and interact with each other in various ways, including divergent, convergent, and transform boundaries. The movement of these plates is driven by convection currents in the mantle that push and pull the plates in different directions. One of the key observations that led to the development of the plate tectonic theory was the correlation between earthquakes and volcanic activity and the locations of the plate boundaries. For example, many of the world's largest and most destructive earthquakes occur along the boundary between these two plates as they grind against each other. Similarly, many of the world's most active volcanoes are found along the plate boundaries, where magma from the mantle rises to the surface. On the other hand, there are some theories that are considered to be on the wilder side, such as the multiverse theory. This theory proposes that there are multiple parallel universes coexisting in the same physical space-time, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. The theory suggests that our universe is just one of an infinite number of universes, each with its own unique characteristics. There are several interpretations of the multiverse theory now, and each one is more bizarre than the next. The first is the many worlds interpretation, which holds that every possible outcome of every event results in the creation of a new universe. So in essence, there is a universe where you took a left instead of a right. Next up, the bubble universe interpretation, which suggests that our universe is just one of many, floating in an infinite void. These universes could be completely different from our own, or they could be carbon copies with minor differences. Finally, the branches interpretation asserts that our universe is constantly splitting into multiple universes as a result of our decisions. So who knows, maybe there's a universe where you're a superhero. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.